wouldn't know it to look at him now as he walks among Hollywood elite, but Keith Craig, the Disney entertainment executive, was formerly Sergeant Major Keith Craig, who in more than 30 years of service, dozens of awards through six combat tours of duty, and now author of the book, Serving to Lead. Sergeant Major Keith Craig joins me this morning. Thank you for your time uh, spending with me this morning. Tell me about this. The, the title of your book, Serving to Lead, why that title and who is your intended audience? Well, Serving to Lead, the title with intent was because it's an oxymoron, right? Nobody, nobody grows up and goes to college and university to, uh, to become a leader and, and, and looks to themselves as serving to lead. Everybody wants to get the accolades that comes along with that along with the, uh, the financial uh, gains, financial rewards. So um, what I've understood since I've left the military was that uh, in other aspects of life, people do it differently. In the military, we, we believe in this mission is the people, and then myself, Sergeant Major East last, in the other facets of life, you know, uh, most, most often people eat, the leaders eat first. So I just wanted to paint a picture that um, serving to lead, that's really why you are, uh, bestowed all those great gifts as far as power and leadership is to really help your subordinates grow and thrive in their own personal careers. This certainly looks like it's something that could work in our political climate right now. Did you intend for it to be used in that way for the political leaders who are now in charge these days? Absolutely. I mean, when you look at the, the global pandemic that we have and, and, and definitely how we saw the, um, the pandemic come upon us in, in, in February, uh, we definitely haven't reacted in the right way uh, with the proper leadership, uh, we could have identified the, 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 uh, the problem and, and put mitigating circumstances in place in order to uh, at least, you know, make this problem go away sooner or at least uh, uh, make people more responsible at the states and local levels. For those people who don't know, Sergeant Major, you can't get any higher non-commission than Sergeant Major. So I want to ask you, when you got into the military, how much did the military shape your focus on leadership? Or was some of that already ingrained in you as you came into the military and it was refined as you went along? Well, I think, I think uh, Canberra, I think some leaders are born. Um, but what the military taught me was the importance of leadership. Because as those other people, the leadership isn't born within them. They can be taught and trained how to be great managers of other uh, soldiers and as well as, you know, uh, civilians. So mm -hmm. um, it really shaped everything I know about leadership as it pertains to understanding what the vision is, understanding what a mission is, understanding how to make a plan for the vision and the mission, and, and then oper operationalizing the plan. You've done a good job making a transition from the military to Disney, where you continue to be a big influence in a lot of blockbuster movies that are out there right now. But along the way, you've also been a big advocate for veterans and their ability to function outside of the military if given a chance. Why is that so important to you? Well, you know, I, I, you know, I look back on, on my struggles and my anxiety that I had. You know, you mentioned earlier that I've been to combat six times and, and served with, 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 with some of the greatest leaders in the history. Um, but however, one of the hardest things I've ever had to do was transitioning and leaving the military to uh, come into another another space, if you will. So I, I just I can only imagine me serving 32 years and having all the school and training that I've had, how uh, a young soldier uh, transitioning out of the military would um, definitely be met with all kind of hurdles and obstacles. So uh, it's very important to me to to help corporations and organizations and institutions understand that these soldiers definitely can be trained and and when you talk about values and morals and their character it's not to be questioned you definitely want this person to be in your corporate boardrooms recent headlines have focused on russia possibly offering bounties for the taliban what's your take about that are you you obviously what's more disturbing to you about that is it more disturbing that it might have happened or it might have happened and nothing has been done about it both. I, I'm disturbed that um, the intel, so we so we hear, has provided, you know, an up updated a briefing to this administration, and and somehow some other it didn't it didn't come to the forefront of being the priority, uh, you know, that was given. So I'm disturbed that the soldiers had bounties on them. You know, my soldiers. You know, because. You know, people that I've served with are still in, mm -hmm. and and a hundred thousand dollars in your head to kill you to take you away from your family is very disturbing to me. You, I'm appalled you, by it, actually, very very um, upset about that. Your your life now at Disney uh, as an executive in that regard. Uh, looking back now, uh, who would you have ever thought 
that this is where you would be now, considering where your life started and how you made this transition? Not at all. You know, um, as, as you know, reading the book, um, I come from I come from a small town in the middle of nowhere in, in Alabama. So um, never in a thousand years would I have ever thought that, you know, I would have had the ability, capacity, um, focus, direction, or, or, or just the, the blessings um, to be able to land where I've land today. So I'm very, very grateful. So, I mean, part of the reason I wrote the book was pretty much if I can do it, you can too, because I wanted to pro provide inspiration to people um, who coming from, you know, little little less means than uh, than right. I had, that you definitely can, can uh, come out in front if you just stay focused and, um, and put your mind to it and, and, and don't let nobody tell you no. You know, how comfortable are you being a role model? I think it's something that I have to grow into, obviously. Um, again, because as a sergeant major, you used to sit in the, the, the stage and the platforms for the generals and the admirals and the, and the commanders. Um, you're not normally the one that's out front um, and you used to take care of the soldiers. So, uh, but as my team has told me, it's, it's something that, you know, sergeant major, we need you to be out here providing uh, direction, guidance, and, and, and you know, and giving wisdom to other people so that they can be better served out here and know that you know leadership is um, it's 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 an honor to to be a leader, but it's also helping young people understand that you know you deserve to have a great leader in your life. Well, I thank you for doing this book. Uh, I, I know it's going to be a success. It already is across many areas, and so best selling in a lot of areas. Sergeant Major Keith Craig, thank you. Title of the book is Serving to Lead published in June 2nd and already is number one or two across a number of categories. Congratulations and good luck as you continue on. Thank you so much for having me, Kimbrough. Thank you very much.